Hi, Marina Franklin here. Hi to all of our Patreon friends and our friends that are golden. Marina Franklin here. Happy holidays, everyone. I haven't sent you a Patreon message, a message in quite some time, and I thought it was time to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. And I also wanted to give a shout out to some of our our people, our fans who emailed us. Recently, we had a guest in-house. You know why? Because she is a Patreon friend. Her name is Andrea. Andrea came to the show and bearing gifts. I don't have them with me. But I will post it. It's basically, it's a candle. And she took the time out to put our logo, our Friends Like Us logo, on a nice holiday candle. Thank you, Beandria, for being golden. Black prayer hands. So I'm recording this also. I just want some of you to know, like, um, I was at the Club Cielo that I talk about every show. And last night was the last night. So I'm losing my voice, and I have had no sleep. But that doesn't stop me, because I'm a podcast beast. <laughs> And on our New Year episode, I have some of our fan favorites, Pat Brown and Terry Lynn Martin. Actually, they're my favorites. They're people who've made my year golden. And I can't wait to share it with you. But I do want you to know about some of the episodes that are also preceding that one. We had the girls, my young babies. They're all hosts of the Knitting Factory. We have Marie Faustin, Sydney Washington, and Amina Amani. All my babies on the podcast coming out after Christmas. Look, like I'm in the future right now, and I'm telling you about the past. Kind of cool. Kind of like um, Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, I'm visiting you. I'm from the ghost future. So I thought I'd say thank you to my friend Eric here, here. So I thought I'd say thank you to my friend Eric who wrote, who took the time to write us an email. And I have to say, you know what? We don't get enough emails from our guests to just ask questions, tell us what you want. I don't know if I've scared you because I said I'm sensitive, but you gotta write in, tweet at us. Eric said, dear Marina and friends, especially Pat Brown, he has a favorite, in this holiday season, <clears throat> From me to you, all the friends like us, Mahasahir Dambatin. Okay. So you know Keisha can't read, but Keisha also doesn't know other languages. And this is, as Eric says, is a traditional Malay Muslim greeting, especially at Idol 50. He's really challenging me. I think he wrote this letter on purpose just to see how I could stumble over words. Yeah, celebrating the end of fasting month of Ramadan. It means I ask your forgiveness within and without for all seen and unseen wrongs I have done. With friends like us, I am reminded and appreciate that I make a lot of mistakes. Oh, I see. You see what he did there? You see what he did? Because I make a lot of mistakes. So he also appreciates it. So he's like, Mar if Marita can make mistakes, then I can make mistakes. So I'm like resonating with people. Or no, Keisha is resonating with people. Maha Zahir Dambatan. Thank you for the show, he says, and for sharing with all of your listeners and fans every week. You are a blessing. Thank you, Eric. Because he says, you know, he's been depressed and... You know, it's really nice when I, not that you're depressed, but it's really nice when you hear from a fan that Friends Like Us has given you something and uplifted you. And he's also, he's, he's Norwegian. Get that. A Norwegian Midwestern fan and friend from somewhere south of Lake Wobegon. There's so many things I can't pronounce, Jay. It's not, it's, I was about to say it's not even funny, but it is kind of funny. I can't pronounce a lot of stuff. Lake Wobegon. Yay! 
All right. And I also want to thank on our Twitter, because we have a lot of Twitter followers, and our Twitter Twitterers, Daddy Longlegs wrote in about the most recent episode we had with Mia Jackson, Suba Aguro, and Vladimir Kamano, which is a really fun episode where we're talking about, like, the new year, how to say what you mean, mean what you say, get what you deserved in the new year. It was a really fun episode. It was a long one, but you know what I find? There's no restrictions on a good time. Sometimes you got to let it keep going. Or maybe I just didn't know how to stop. Daddy Longlegs says, such a great episode. Check it out at work today. He's telling other people to check it out at work. By the way, it's podcasts. I don't know if you knew this. It's really good to listen to when you're driving because I had to drive for an hour and I had no sleep. It was the podcast that kept me awake. And it, was, it wasn't mine, but still. All right. We also have Make Bass Mom. <laughs> That's her Twitter handle. Make Bass Mom. Make Bass Mom. I, I think that has something to do with being a good mom. She said, you made my day. Happy holidays. And she always writes in. And I have to say, I truly appreciate her, appreciate her because... She says that Keisha should have, like, a motivational, like, um, channel. Keisha motivates people, you know, who can't, like, read. Thank you. Make best mom. She said, Keisha, oh, this was what she said exactly. Lovely. Please encourage Keisha. Please encourage Keisha to become a life coach, Marina. She's living her best life, unapologetically and uniquely expressive. She's all right. That's right. We love Keisha. This is Marina. This is Keisha. <laughs> all right. And we also have Mr. J, actual person, blue check. Oh, okay. Malina Sky. She listens every week and she is really thankful for friends like us. Thank you. And people, Tim McCall. Tim McCall is a regular friend of ours. He always tweets out, thank you, Tim McCall. I want to thank all of you, really. It was just such, it's such a good thing to have you as a part of Friends Like Us. And I want you to encourage other people to make sure that they check us out. You know how you do that. You can follow, you can share. We're on Twitter as Friends Like Us 10. We're on Instagram as Friends Like Us Podcast. You can email us at Friends Like Us Gmail. All of those things just to contact Friends Like Us. And if you're on Patreon, guess what? You can come in studio and watch us while we record, like Beandria did. And Beandria has a message for some of our friends, but you won't know that until you listen to the episode all the way to the end. But she has a message for you out there in support of me. It's basically, she's telling you, leave me alone, kind of. All right, but that, you have to listen to the show. So that's it. You know, next up, I have some of the friends that are going to be here for our New Year episode. And they're going to be telling you their favorite part about being all friends like us. See you soon.